<laughs> For a long time, the plan was to live next door to each other and marry twin brothers. Who was going to have the taller twin brothers. <laughs> then there was the discussions of who we were going to be when we grew up. Christy was going to be a gourmet chef I'm just looking at, at a famous restaurant. She may have modified that down to Brian. <laughs> but we always know he'll be fed very well. <laughs> As most of you know, our mothers were teenage mothers together. Strong, hardworking, with Catholic guilt and endless love. <laughs> I'll never forget Candy walking Christy and Jeremy to our house, dressed for work, with curlers in her hair and slippers on her feet, with a pot of coffee in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> well before dawn. How's that for you? Many days, Christy was there when I woke, until after dinner. She was my constant companion. Both our mothers are here today, and I just want to take a second to tell you that we wouldn't be the strong, independent women that we are if we didn't have both of you love us. I'm sure Christy would agree. <laughs> that we have with each other if it weren't for the two of you as well. Christy and I have always been raised like sisters. And I'm so thankful to have you as my brother now. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> the bleach blonde surfer dude, straight out of a magazine shoe, butt crack tan and all. <laughs> changed for the better when you came into her life. And it was noticeable to the people who love her. They were a positive force showing her how to live life and not hold back. So in true big sister fashion, I have one piece of advice for you when you get married. It's that 50-50 is never enough. You have to give 100%. Because you're never at your best.